Actress Cloris Leachman was well known in entertainment for her talent in both movies and TV shows. She became famous in the early 1970s with her role in The Last Picture Show. Over many years, she won lots of praise, including an Academy Award for her role in a supporting role. People loved her in movies like Young Frankenstein and the TV series The Mary Tyler Moore Show. Share your favorite memories of her below. Stay tuned for interesting and heartfelt stories about her life. In entertainment, one actress stands out for her significant impact, Cloris Leachman. She made a name for herself in acting, leaving a lasting impression on the industry. Cloris Leachman, a talented actress, showed with her skills in both movies and TV. She started her acting career with passion and determination, and it lasted for many years, showing her journey through Hollywood. What makes her worth celebrating is not just her many roles, but how well she played them. She could do comedy and drama equally well, which connected with audiences of all ages. From famous characters in old movies to memorable parts in TV shows, she made a mark. During her time, Cloris Leachman broke barriers and changed what people expected from actresses. Her influence went beyond just entertaining people. It showed how Hollywood was changing. Her work helped future actors, showing that talent is what matters most. In conclusion, Cloris Leachman's importance lies not only in her roles, but in how she went beyond what was expected. She is still remembered in Hollywood as someone whose work continues to be loved by fans of storytelling on screen. Cloris Leachman, famous for her role as Phyllis Lindstrom in The Mary Tyler Moore Show, was born in Polk County to Berkeley Claiborne Buck Leachman and Cloris Wallace. She is the ex-daughter-in-law of Mabel Albertson and the ex-niece-in-law of Jack Albertson. In the Mary Tyler Moore show, both Mary Tyler Moore and Cloris Leachman portrayed the same character, Phyllis, making them unique in television history. They reprised their roles in Rhoda and Phyllis, further solidifying their connection to the character. Cloris Leachman's work on television is noteworthy, especially in her portrayal of Phyllis Lindstrom, which left a lasting impression on audiences. She continued to bring this character to life in Rhoda and Phyllis, showcasing her talent in portraying complex roles. Her role as Phyllis remains a significant part of television history. Cloris Leachman's influence on the small screen is undeniable, and her performances are memorable to many viewers. Cloris Leachman embodied the character Beverly Ann Stickle on The Facts of Life, portraying her as Edna's sister, played by Charlotte Ray. Interestingly, in real life, Ray was only eight days older than her. Their on-screen chemistry added depth to their sisterly bond, making it all the more believable. In July 1973, it was announced that she would join Sybil Shepherd and Roman Fever, a project directed by Peter Bogdanovich. The idea of this collaboration excited fans and industry insiders alike. Her role as Anna Sage in Dillinger was another standout performance, especially as she reunited with Ben Johnson shortly after they both received Oscars for their work in The Last Picture Show. Their on-screen chemistry showcased their talent and versatility as actors. These roles not only cemented her status as a formidable talent in Hollywood, but also endeared her to audiences worldwide. Her work in film and television continues to be celebrated and remembered fondly. Cloris Leachman played Phyllis Lindstrom in Phyllis, making her and Mary Tyler Moore the only actors to portray the same character across the Mary Tyler Moore show, Rhoda and Phyllis. In The People Next Door, she acted as Tina Hoffman alongside Hal Holbrook, who also starred with her in Suddenly Single. Al passed away four days before her, although news of his death came later. Nehemiah Persoff, who also starred in The People Next Door, survived them at 101, while Barbara Rush and Michael Constantine from Suddenly Single were 94 and 93 respectively when she and Hal passed away. As Ruth Popper in The Last Picture Show, she was part of a cast that included Sybil Shepard. Sybil consulted her, Ellen Burstyn, and Eileen Brennan regarding nude scenes, eventually deciding to do them. During the filming of Lassie in 1958, she faced a personal tragedy, experiencing a heartbreaking miscarriage when she was four months pregnant. This challenging time added depth to her life, showing how strong she was, which later show would in her career. In Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, she played Agnes, a character that showed would how versatile she was as an actress. Playing a prostitute in the famous movie, she showed what she could handle different types of roles and was praised for her acting. In the TV series Phyllis, her family life was shown on screen with her father-in-law played by Henry Jones, who was the actor behind the character of the bicycle salesman. 
This mix of relationships made the show more interesting and gave viewers memorable moments. Her personal life mixed with her work life as she and George England dealt with the challenges of being parents. They raised a group of talented actors, including Adam, Brian, George Jr., Morgan, and actress Dinah England. This unique family setup show with how she could manage both a successful career and being a mom. Looking back, Cloris Leachman's journey in Hollywood had its ups and downs both on and off the screen. She didn't just play characters, but left a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. Her memory lives on as proof of what a great actress she was. Cloris Leachman, known for her role as Phyllis Lindstrom in The Mary Tyler Moore Show, was part of a main cast that faced a unique fate. Between 2017 and 2021, all members, except Ted Knight, passed away. Notably, Ed Asner, Gavin McLeod, Cloris Leachman, and Betty White all left us in 2021. In a 2013 interview on The Doctors, Valerie Harper and Cloris Leachman revealed a groundbreaking moment in TV history. The Mary Tyler Moore Show became the first to use the term gay in reference to homosexuality, as Rhoda informed Phyllis about Phyllis's brother. Her high school days in Des Moines, Iowa, were shared with her close friend Phyllis Love. Both attended Roosevelt High School, and in 1987, she earned her place in the Theodore Roosevelt High School Hall of Fame. This straightforward overview sheds light on her connection to her castmate's unique fate, her contribution to a pivotal TV moment, and her shared history with a close friend. It provides a glimpse into the actress's life beyond the screen, showcasing her roots in Des Moines, Iowa. Cloris Leachman played Beverly Ann Stickle in The Facts of Life. The show went through many changes like moving from a school to a fancy food shop. Later on, they added a male character, the shop got destroyed and turned into a gift store, and Mrs. Garrett's role was taken over by her sister, played by Leachman. The show tried different things with its characters to get more viewers. In the Mary Tyler Moore show, Leachman was Phyllis Lindstrom. Some cast members, including Leachman, passed away in 2021, marking the end of a big era for the show. Leachman was one of three actresses to win both an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress and an Emma Lime Tree for Outstanding Guest Actress in a Comedy Series. The others were Eileen Heckart and Melissa Leo. Throughout her impressive career, Cloris Leachman made a lasting impression on the entertainment world, showcasing her versatility as an actress. In the classic film Young Frankenstein, she brought the character Frau Blucher to life with her great comedic timing. One memorable scene featured her delivering a famous line, offering warm milk and Ovaltine to Dr. Frankenstein, showing her talent for humor in her roles through clever improvisation. Moving between film and television seamlessly, she appeared on the Mary Tyler Moore Show as the character Phyllis Lindstrom. It's interesting to note that, despite their on-screen rivalry, Leachman and Valerie Harper, who played Rhoda, shared a close friendship off-screen. This friendship added authenticity to their performances, making the show even more beloved by fans. Outside of acting, Cloris Leachman also had the honor of flipping the coin for the 95th Rose Bowl game, showing her widespread recognition and influence. The game, which took place on January 1, 2009, between the Penn State Nittany Lions and the University of Southern California Trojans, highlighted her connection to various aspects of popular culture. As we look back on her impressive career, it's clear that Cloris Leachman's influence goes beyond her roles on screen. Her ability to move between different genres and bring depth and authenticity to her characters has left a lasting impact on both film and television. The entertainment world was undoubtedly enriched by her talents, and her contributions will continue to be celebrated for years to come. This tribute is a small acknowledgement of the lasting impact of a career,